Good day, dear developers. Today we will show you how to set up AdMob AppLovin mediation and bidding. First, we go to AppLovin and add our app there. We will do it by adding new ad units. First, let's add an interstitial ad unit. Give the ad unit a name. Choose the Android platform. Enter the app package name. Press save. As you can see, a Keto Recipes app with an interstitial ad unit has been created. Now let's create a banner ad unit. Now let's go to account, keys. Copy the SDK key and report key and save them in your document. We also need to create a zone in the app discovery section. Zone is necessary for the waterfall setting. Press create zone. Give it a name and choose an ad type banner. You can choose optimized by app love and pricing or set a flat CPM. Now copy the zone ID and paste it into our document. We have completed the necessary setting on the app Lovin side. Now let's proceed to the ad mob and arrange a mediation and bidding there. First of all, add our app to the ad mob. Now let's add ad units for the app. The first ad unit is a banner. Copy and paste the ad mob app ID and banner ID into the document. Now let's create an interstitial ad unit. Now let's set up a mediation. 
Press Create a Mediation Group. Choose the Ad Unit Type Banner and the Platform Android. Add Ad Unit. For banners, we can set up a waterfall only. Choose App Lovin. You can set up a manual ECPM or set up an optimized option. Add a mapping using the SDK key we copied from App Lovin. If you set a mapping for the first time, you will also need a report key which we have copied from AppLovin. This waterfall needs time for optimization. If you want this waterfall to be activated instantly, turn off the ECPM optimization. We can set up bidding for interstitial ads besides banner ads. If you want this waterfall to be activated instantly, turn off the optimization, but it is better to optimize it. We have created two mediation groups, Keto Banners and Keto Interstitials. Now let's complete monetization settings on the Andromo Builder side. We will need the AdMob app ID, as well as banner and interstitial ads IDs. And don't forget to mark the checkbox AdMob app love and bidding. Let's check what is the difference between the bidding and waterfall.
So, the waterfall calls an ad network one at a time, depending on the priority. Bidding is calling all networks simultaneously. You can also choose between waterfall or bidding for your app by pausing one. Also, you can add a Facebook bidding to AdMob and AppLovin. In this case, all three networks will compete for impressions. The video on how to set up Facebook bidding is in the description of this video. Also, don't forget to turn on ads at the components level. You must activate AdMob only since bidding or waterfall will work via the AdMob SDK. So, that's all for today. Thank you and good luck!